Yeah, so I'm Nick Clark, and I'm the editor of The Life and Mind of Mark DeFriest. So the doc is about Mark DeFriest, who went to prison, went to jail in Florida when he was about 19 years old in 1979 for what really amounted to a, a minor crime, stealing his own tools. And the tools have been willed to him from his father, who he worked with. He went to pick him up before the will had been probated. And the cops were called. He, he got picked up and he was thrown in jail. He immediately started breaking out. Uh, did that repeatedly and gained some notoriety as the Houdini of Florida as a result of that. And also as a result, extended his sentence further and further and further. Flash forward to 30 years later, he's still in prison and has a parole date of 2085. So the doc really explores how he was able to really extend the, the sentence so dramatically, what led to that, whether there were issues of uh, his own mental illness that maybe should have come uh, and been born to bear on the case, um, and what could be done at this point to, to get some relief for him. Our director, Gabriel London, had done several short films about uh, prison rape in particular. And w as a result of those films was in touch with people who were active uh, with that issue. And he actually came upon Mark's story through two different means, unrelated, on the same day. One was a headline about the Houdini of Florida. And the other was through this letter that he, he was given by someone who was working with a, an organization called Stop Prison Rape. And the letter was uh, from someone who had been uh, victimized and who was identifying himself as Wendy the Punk. Gabe was able to connect those dots and realize that those two personas were the same guy. They were both Mark. And he kind of started pulling on that loose thread, and here we are 13 years later with the film.